G Suite shared drives are spaces where teams can easily store, search, and access their files anywhere from any device. Unlike files in My Drive, your personal Google Drive, files in a shared drive belong to a team instead of an individual. Even if members leave, the files stay exactly where they are so your team can continue to share information and get work done. Some common uses for shared drives include grade level teams, events for people working for a defined period of time on a specific event, templates, school-wide files. To get started and create a shared drive, head over to your Google Drive using my favorite quick link, The Waffle. Once there, on the left navigation panel, you will see My Drive and Shared Drives. Click Shared Drives. Click the button to create a new drive and name it. Next, Decide who you would like to add as a team member to this drive and what level of access you want them to have. Levels are listed in descending order of access, starting with a manager who can add and remove content, add and remove members, and change levels of access for other members. Content managers are restricted to adding, editing, moving, and deleting files, while contributors may only add and edit files without the ability to move or delete. In most use cases, shared drives should add members as content managers. Once you have members in your shared drive, you can start adding files. You can either create or upload new files in the drive directly, or migrate files from your My Drive to the new shared drive by dragging and dropping. Remember, any content in a shared drive has shared ownership by all stakeholders, so you will no longer be the sole owner of any documents you migrate here. All in all, shared drives are a great tool to use as a team, as a department, or as a particular grade level.